Okay, so this is Conformalizer 4.1. It's had a few significant changes, so I'm going to run through them for you now. Now, this video assumes you've already got a good understanding of Conformalizer, so if you haven't done so, go watch the reasonably thorough demonstration video first. And make sure you watch this one right the way through. I'm saving the best bit for last. Okay, so the first change you'll see is a small but important one. On each page, we now have a duration field showing the length of each event. Now you'll understand the importance of this better when I show you the next feature. So if I go ahead and hit compare, you'll see right away there's a new type of event called a gap. Now these gaps are gaps in the timeline of the new movie cut. So there's one gap event for each of these gaps in the bottom row of the block view. If you select the gap down here, the corresponding gap event will highlight and vice versa. Now you can't delete a gap event as they are dynamically generated based on the real events in the list. So anytime you change time codes or delete real events, you'll see that the gap events get recalculated. So this is where the duration field becomes really useful. You can see at a glance which gaps are really significant and which ones are not. The next change is also a small one. We've switched some of the color coding to be more consistent. For a start, there's no such thing as a blue event since those were simply used to indicate gaps in the list, and that's now displayed in a much more effective way using the gap events. We've also changed the color of visual effects update events to green, since red makes more sense to be used for gaps, unmatched shots, and unmatched video frames. Next is drag and drop for movies. This is self-explanatory, really. You can load movie files by dropping them on the relevant movie view. Trim to head and tail is an often requested feature, and we now have a menu item for that. Simply select the event and choose trim head to fill gap, or conversely trim tail to fill gap. Control scrubbing in the block view now has a zone in the middle which lets you scrub both movies together, with the offset between them locked. Okay, that's all the boring stuff. There's one more feature you need to see, and it's something I've been dreaming of adding for years. What if you have some footage for which the EDLs are failing, or you can't get EDLs at all? Maybe the picture editor renamed some clips, or mixed down some video and broke your EDL comparison. Or maybe they just flatly refused to give you EDLs. Or Conformalize It Now offers a video-only compare. Yes, it can figure out picture changes using the video alone. No EDLs or change notes required. So here's our example of a shot which failed to match using the EDLs. We can select the gap and then call up Compare Video for Selection. Right away you can see it's got a result which the EDLs could not. It has literally scanned every frame in the old movie looking for the shot from our new movie. So let me delete this one here and then search for it using video only. And there's our result. Perfect. So we can even compare the entire reel using video alone. It may take a couple of minutes, but you will get a result. So first, it scans both movies and collects metadata about the footage within. This takes two or three minutes per reel, but it is saved for next time that you use that movie. Then it starts searching for shots. So it literally compares every shot in the new movie against every shot in the old movie one frame at a time. Now it's not going to work in every case, and there are lots of picture changes which can trip it up. Things like color grading, scaling, racking, and VFX changes can all cause the video comparison to fail. But in many cases, this is also a good heads up to you that something has changed. Okay, we're going to race ahead and show you one I prepared earlier. And you see the result here. It's almost identical to the EDL comparison that we made earlier. So this is a new feature, and it's going to evolve over time as we get feedback from you. We're always keen to hear how it's performing and what you think the next improvement should be, so give it a spin and don't hesitate to get in touch. Conformalizer 4.1 is available for download now.